Hi everyone! Well, it's certainly glad to be back to making some more tea videos. I have one coming up for uh, Jay Johnson. Uh, she requested me to make a video showing the differences between a Nandu Chromatis and Nandu Colorado Volosis, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I really want to make this video because there was some many, many major changes to the tea hobby. So Michael Jacoby and Andrew Smith, our leading tarantula enthusiasts, decide to do some name revisions. So it's a video, again, where we have to change our labels. Remember the time where we had to label uh, the C. crochehi P. muticus and our Theraphosa blondies that we got in the pet trade as well caught about a couple years ago. Now we call them T. Sturmy. Well, it's that time again to change the names. So. Many of them I don't really agree with, but unfortunately they are official. This is why I waited a bit longer. And just as I found out that uh, four days ago, we just got another name revision uh, for the whole of the INSEE. So I'll be killing two birds with one stone for this video. And also I'll be killing a third one because since my tarantula feeding video 126, I got some more recent additions. Two of them I got a week ago. Uh, when the name revisions were placed, I just didn't have time to make a video of it, which I'm going to be doing right now. And some four recent ones that I picked up from our Facebook uh, forum, Tarantulas in Canada, since I rarely see any more ads that pop up in our Arachnid Boards for Sale trade section in Canada. So, here we go. So remember the Cirgopacus shoidi and the Cirgopacus species Hati Hati or Haiti Haiti? Well, unfortunately, the Cirgopacus genus name is been reassigned. So now we're not no longer calling these species anymore C. shoidi and C. species Haiti Haiti. We are going to be calling them Omothymus species. So Lampropelma as well, like Lampropelma valaciops and Lampropelma nigerum are now called Omothymus species. And this is one example of the Omothymus valaciops, which is the Singapore blue. Uh, yeah, as you can probably see right over there. Now I just noticed that on Tarantula Canada's price list that that happened. Okay, so that is one addition. The second big, big, big name change that I saw on Tarantula Canada's price list, if you look over here, I'm going to be showing you. Now we have a new genus named Delichotheli. As you can probably see, Delichotheli bolivananum and Delichotheli diamantinensis, which are the Brazilian blor, uh, dwarf blue beauties. So now they're called Delichotheli. And it's kind of ironic because when I first did a search on Delichotheli species, it came up to cacti plants. So. What does that say? I guess Delichotheli or Oligoceri have a spiky personality. <laughs> Here is a Cyclosternum fasciatum, also commonly called the Costa Rican tiger rump. Now, taxonomists uh, have concluded that this specimen isn't really a Cyclosternum species, so they lumped it to a new genus that has been revived since 2005 and it's been debating over many many years uh, to see it. So now we're calling this one Davis fasciatus. So in all uh, feeding videos starting from 127 onwards I'm going to be calling the Cyclosternum fasciatum a Davis fasciatus. So I'm not sure if this also applies to species Macala or uh, species Gajoni or Schmarte, but I'll try to find that out. But for now, it's mainly this um, Cyclosternum fasciatum that is now a Davis species. The fifth 
one over here, which I really don't have species of, is the Formignochilla species. The only one that in that's in the pet trade right now is the Ever Ready. But now three of them that had a species logo to it, like species uh, Sulawelsi, species Borneo, and species Sarawak, have now been given proper names. Uh, the Sulawesi Black, I believe that was a Syrgopaca species, is now Formicillus carpentari. Uh, the Borneo, I'm not sure if this is a Borneo Black, that originally was a Lampropelma species. Now it's called Formicillus uh, penolhuelti, species Nove, which means it's a new species. And species Sarawak is now P. Kirky, also species Nove, which indicates it's a brand new species. Another name change that happened just less than four days ago is that there's a new genus called Neoholotheli, and that really describes the Holotheli insi, both gold and regular forms, and the species Bumblebee, which is the Neotheli fascia orinigra. Now the reason why they're dumped into a new genus because the Holotheli species do not display monophyletic groups, meaning that they have some different color mores. And because the HNC and that species Columbia bumblebee has two different color morphs, uh, they're lumped into a new genus. So I'll show you pictures of the, neoth the new one here. And there we go, kind of looks like your HNC, the Trinidad Olive. Yeah, and because there's two color forms, that's the gold form of HNC, you can't have them in the Holotheli species. So that sucks, and probably the ultimate kicker is that Haplopelma species is now being reassigned to the Sergopacus. So it is kind of upsetting to call your Haplopelma libidum that we all know and love lump it to a genus that was previously known as C. shoiti and C. species Haiti Haiti. So now, in, again, in future videos, I'll be calling the Haplopelma libidum your Sergopacus lividum or C. lividum. And you know what? The species von Worthy that was in the pet trade so long ago, we weren't sure that we were calling it a Sergopacus species. Well, they were actually right all along, and that actually could have been the real, uh, or what we probably know of as the Sergopacus paganus. And there's uh, Midna. I'll just set the temperature. Whoop. There we go. Typical C. Lividum temperament. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of getting used to calling your H. Lividum a C. Lividum. But oh well, they're made official. Yeah, I know you're pissed. Anyways. So that's all the name revisions that I have to share with you. So the next topic I'll show you is the new additions that I got from Tarantula Canada and what I got over here. All right guys, so just wanted to show you these name changes. So be sure to change your labels and make sure that don't be alarmed if Oligocelery Diamantinensis and Delichotheli Diamantinensis are two different tarantulas, they're not, they're the same. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, see you later.